So, yeah, this is the best barbecue I've ever had. I mean, really? I, everything I literally think is amazing. The the size, the actual meat itself, like yeah. I couldn't ask for better barbecue. Uh, we ordered the sampler. The sampler. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Second, second time, yeah. My, second time. My family's up visiting from San Antonio, um, so we brought them here to, yep. to eat barbecue. Nice. Do your thing. Ready? Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we are at Third Coast Barbecue. So you ask, what is a Third Coast? Well. We got the East Coast, we got the West Coast. The third coast is the Gulf of Mexico. Ah, now you're getting it. So yeah, this is the third coast barbecue and we are here for some epic barbecue. I've heard that this place has some really great ribs, uh, some great brisket and some peculiar items that we're gonna have to check out. So yeah, come along with me. We're gonna join up uh, with the owners here. Uh, Nick Rama's with me as well. And we're gonna showcase third coast barbecue. Let's get going. See if you get it. So today we're here at the Third Coast Barbecue and I'm sitting down with the owners Troy and Didi and Nick Rahm is here as well with us trying to show us some of the dishes that I think he's liked over the years. So let's talk a little bit about the history of this location. I was kind of reading online. I know Troy, do you have a, a little bit of a history here, don't you? Or how you got this started? Yeah, we had uh, originally leased the place uh, about a year and a half ago just for the kitchen to do catering and whatnot and then, you know, with intents to open up the restaurant at some point. And so we got the got all our permits and everything filed and everything came in in the beginning of March. So we opened up March 12th. March 12th. And that was the same day that they shut down Rodeo. Oh! So coming back from spring break. Oh, for right, the, uh, yeah. For the coronavirus. So. It's been an interesting ride. I yeah. bet. We did a lot of window and curbside, yep. Yep. but then once we were able to open the patio and people started coming out, then it was just so nice, and which helped us um, during the pandemic. Big time. I know a lot of restaurants actually got very creative during that time as well. I know, uh, you know, we've seen some restaurants actually dig a hole in the side of the building just to do takeout. Take out so, yeah, and, it's... And, and drive throughs yep. and yep. You, you, you did. I mean, it wasn't our plan to even do um, online orders right but we quickly had to had to adjust and, and, and get that going as well so nick here he actually told me a little bit about this location um, i think you were uh, the words i've heard this place is legit the barbecue yeah. is supposed to be legit so yeah. that's that's the, i guess the new vibe for the lingo today top top 10 for me top um, 10? yeah definitely in in the north side area for, yep. for barbecue or houston and surrounding um, I'm gonna touch back on the, when we opened, when our children were here and we were all, you know, here trying to, you know, survive. So my husband said, when it, we, he's like, I have a case of the big pretzels or, you know, some of the pretzels at one of our vendors. And so we pulled the pretzel out and we all started playing with it and started putting meat in, in the big mouth of it. <laughs> and then he started playing with the dipping sauces. We eventually just named it, um, obviously it's a pretzel, so, but it was the time that we opened in and it's kind of a fun dish for our little family to come up with and called it the, the twisted tray. The twisted tray. It's called the twisted tray, um, you know, twisted time, but also um, now it represents more. <laughs> So a little special treat is that Troy here makes a uh, rib that's basically basted with uh, Dr. Pepper. So we're gonna try this, it's something very unique. I've never heard of this. So you can see he's back here getting it all prepared. So we're gonna show how he kind of does this here in a second. Yeah, yeah, uh, we uh, started out a while back. I was making a Dr. Pepper glaze for some hams uh -huh. uh, for Easter. Oh. And um, we had, uh, we decided, hey, let's try it on the ribs. So we put it on a few racks of ribs and we tried them and gave some to a couple of customers to see what they thought. And, uh, I think Nick, Nick was telling me that they're kind of spicy, a little bit spicy. They're sweet, sweet just enough sweet and just enough spicy. Yeah. It, they're just fantastic. You know, they're they're probably my favorite, my new favorite ribs. I mean, and, and in I don't, Houston and surrounding areas. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's a big statement. I, I don't think you can get more Texas than barbecue and Dr. Pepper. I mean, that is a Texas meal right there, so. Yeah, but. and that was part of the reason for our big red uh, burn-ins as well. Yep. You know, it's just a uh, couple of things. It's Texas and Dr. Pepper. And so, Dee Dee brought us out the twisted tray. You can see it here. And you can get this with two different types of meats. I think, Nick, you've got, what do you usually get it with? I usually get uh, their brisket, because their brisket's fabulous, and either pulled pork or sausage. Right. Um, and 
what it, what's great is you have all these different sauces so every bite can be different uh, you know the Chipotle Ranch um, their house made um, queso or mm -hmm. cheese sauce beer cheese sauce I mean look, look at that mustard I mean, yeah. <laughs> it looks good look at that this it, is like, it's, it's just a fun dish. It's, I was going to say, it's almost like yeah. an appetizer, but yet it's got some, yeah. I mean, a lot of meat on this. This, I guess you could make this into a meal. You're trying, the, I'm going to try the, uh, the jalapeno sausage here. Let's try this out. Okay. Excuse me while I get mm. that, beer, that beer cheese sauce. Yeah, that has a, a very, a very distinct smoky flavor built into that. And, uh, I don't know if you can make it any better. <laughs> That's really, really good beer. Troy brought out a new dish he just now created. It's called the baller board. So I don't know if he's ever going to make this again, but this oh, is I'm this sure is he little, can. I'm sure he can. But there's a lot of food um, here. This uh, is the whole enchilada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's this, a, is, this is everything they have today. Um, except for the crawfish. Yeah. Um, the big red pork braley burn ends, brisket, chicken, turkey, jalapeno sausage. I think that's their hot link. Yep. Um, red beans and sausage. Red beans and rice, um, charo beans, um, their incredible mac and cheese, yep. their smoked collard greens, banana pudding. <laughs> and then my favorite thing here so far to date are these Dr. Pepper rib. Yeah, mm. really good. So this is the uh, Dr. Pepper rib. So you don't need any sauce on this, do you? Uh -uh. We're gonna eat this just like it is. So you ready? Here we go. Oh, right. okay, that's sweet. It's smoky. Dang, that's good. That's good. Man, look at this bad boy. So. You see the red? That's that's the big red reduction. It is um, crazy good. Pork belly. Pork belly burnt in. We're gonna in. try that. Pork belly burnt in with big red on it. Let's try this out. Oh. Okay, that's sweet. It's mm -hmm. kind of got a sweet, buttery flavor. I guess that's the pork coming out of it. Really good. Banana pudding, just like grandma used to make. Whoa. Actually, my grandma didn't make. I was gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Mine didn't either, but. Uh, but Heidi's did. I'm, uh, I, I'm definitely gonna try that. I'm a banana pudding sucker, so yeah. I definitely want to try this. Mm. That's fresh. Mm -hmm. That's that is fresh banana pudding. So everything here, guys, is fantastic. Uh, everything's seasoned properly. It's, it's a hidden gem. Yeah, it really is mm -hmm. a hidden gem. And you can kind of see from the beginning of our video where it's located. So, you know, please do check this place out. I think, Nick, you actually have a special drink here as well. We're doing the um, Otto's Root Beer. 50 cents for uh, Otto's Root Beer goes to the Montgomery County Food Bank for the local police Yeah. Yep. So we have great food here, guys. Uh, it is a hidden gem, like Nick said. And uh, I would highly recommend you guys come out, especially up in the, if you're up in the woodlands. Come out here and check this place out. Like I said, everything here, that if you get the big baller, um, tell them that Mike and Nick said hi to you. And I think this is the first he's had this out here, but yeah, so it's a lot of food. So if you're bringing 20 or 50 people, get the big, <laughs> get the big baller. Nick and I are going to try or, to eat. Or four really big hungry men. <laughs> four really big hungry men. The big baller. Yeah, that's what he called this one. Um, I am so stuffed. <laughs> I have never seen a barbecue plate that big. Uh, no, we did not eat it all. There is so much food. Nick and I just couldn't couldn't do it. But kind of gave you an idea of what menu items they have. Uh, the Dr. Pepper ribs. Oh my gosh! I can just say one thing. Dang, those are really good. So we're gonna be giving away some merchandise from these restaurants, t-shirts, hats, whatever. So stay tuned for more videos if you want to get free merchandise and gift cards. Like I say, we try to give back as much as we can. Again, thanks guys. We do appreciate you watching our videos and uh, we will see you guys soon. But right now I'm gonna sit back and uh, take an Alka-Seltzer because dang, that was good.
Again. There we go. Wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, one more time. <laughs> I see you brought some other guests with you, first timers, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's our nuclear physicist back there, so no. <laughs> yeah, it's just secret.